So darling, I'm here to stay Don't really care what they say And time to build up this family Get through it all that comes our way We won't let the days go by Without you here by my side Look in my eyes Get through it, you and I Wow, someone went on a shopping spree. Yeah, you. I didn't buy anything. Are you sure you didn't buy seven boxes of baby toys? Violet! Oh god, I know what happened. Violet must have bought all this on my laptop when I wasn't looking. I thought those notification emails were some moron using my email address by accident. The baby toys are here. <laughs> what baby toys? Violet bought all of this using RC's laptop. Violet? How many times have I told you not to touch other people's things without permission? Just for the baby. Actually, maybe I wasn't... I'll deal with this later. I'm really late. Can we return these or something? Can you please? I'll text you the account details. But I have a... Bye! Did you know all the boxes are here yet? So, the wedding vendors got back to me and luckily there's stuff they haven't started on yet. So, I cut them out. Did they say if we can upgrade, if I can get the money? Just in case I get any last-minute commissions? There won't be enough time. Dealing with wedding prep so early in the morning, there's always more to do, Chi. So, are you two doing anything for your bachelor and bachelorette parties? Oh, I forgot about that. Then, you better give it some thought. Not much time already. Osman's son went on a staycation with his friends. I just saw it on his social media last week. We are probably gonna skip the parties. Why? I thought this is what young people do. No time. We're barely managing with the wedding prep as it is. Oh, it's the caterers. Sorry, I should take this. Excuse me. Let me talk to them. Say so, how can they get married without having the parties first? They have to focus on their wedding. Then we just have to organise the parties for them. Mm. <laughs> yes, they were ordered by mistake. So we can return them? <sighs> okay, great. Thank you. Are we returning all the toys? Yes, we are. Do you know what you did wrong, Violet? You can't buy things using other people's money without their permission. And you shouldn't buy anything without asking Mummy first. I just wanted to make the baby happy. I know, Violet. You're a good girl. Sorry, dear. Do you feel better now? Just a little. I still miss the very important meeting. What meeting? Nothing to worry about. Let's get you ready. Uncle Alex is coming home to pick you up. Surprise bachelor parties? She deleted it. Must have sent it to us accidentally. <laughs> I bet Mama's in on it too. That's so sweet of them. I feel bad they're going out of their way for us. Well, we already told them we don't need it. Mm. If they still want to go ahead with it, there's nothing we can do to change their minds. It's so strange, my future in-laws planning for my bachelorette party. <laughs> I know, right? I can't even imagine who Baba's going to invite. Mm -hmm. Did Baba send another text? No, it's Mandy. She's asking if I can meet to talk. Sounds urgent. Go ahead. I can manage on my own. Okay. Morning. What time is the show open? Can I see the menu? Just check the website. My hands are the full right now. Okay, I'll just come in later. I told you how many times to double bag already. I don't want to use more plastic bags than necessary. Yeah, plastic bags are bad for the environment. Use this instead. Such a reliable and thoughtful man. Good thing you were here, Benny. Uh, that'll be $2. Seriously? 
Yeah. If you pay for it, you'll be more likely to use it in the future and appreciate it more. But I guess I can make it 180. Fresh discount. Is there a bigger discount? She becomes more than friends? Ma, do encourage you. Thanks. Oh, uh, do you have the exact change? Just take the stupid two dollars. Okay, thanks. I'll come later when you open. Bye, Dinelli. Bye. Thanks. He made a good point. Things have more value when you pay for them. I bet this bag is even worth a dollar. Such a cheap skit. He is smart, radical, good in money. He will make a good husband. Good or bad, none of my business. I'm never getting married. Good. And because of that, I had to miss the first meeting, so... No way I can negotiate with them on staying off campus. Why are you taking on so many things on your own? I don't have a choice. Hey, as important as your family is, never forget to look out for yourself. Hmm? Hey, are you taking your own advice, Dr. Khatija? I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. Whenever you need someone to talk to, I'll be here. Hmm? Thanks. <laughs> uh, sorry, I know I said I'll be here for you, but I... Wedding stuff? No, they need me back at work. Whatever it is, please take care of yourself. Okay? I'll see you. So you better wear something nice to my wedding, no, Uncle Chan? No problem. Hey, I probably not call you. Oh, I'll miss me already. Whoa, so sayang, ah. No, I'm needed at work, but I promised Chit Sulima that I would watch Juliana for a bit. So you want me to watch Juliana? Only for a few hours, Molly. Oi, you know how, not? Sure. Thank you. Okay, Chit Sulima will meet you here. I'll text her. Got it. Thank you. Oi, you sure you can or not, huh? What can I not, Uncle Chan? You ask me or I ask you, ah? <laughs> Uncle Chan! Uncle Chan! Did you see what you did to Uncle Chan? I'm a first time babysitter, okay? Oh, okay. Oh. Come on, pick up, pick up. Hey, Chan. Why are you here, Juliana? Hmm? You ask me, ah? Mm, don't know. Wait. Hey, Nelly, why you look so stressed? The stubborn girl. Now she says she doesn't want to get married. Hello. Are we discussing the love life of one jelly thing? Huh? You see, you see? Escape more face. Hi. I, Chandra Vijay Kumar, grassroots leader and neighborhood helper. Okay. Oh. Helper says. Don't cut out, okay? No problem. It's too difficult to handle. You think you can help? Helping is turning trouble. Sometimes it's very hard to tell the difference. You keep quiet. Nelly, I'm at your service. What are you smelling at? Katija's sticky gram. She has tons of clips of her baby sister, Juliana. Wanna see? I'm good. She's so cute. Maybe I really should freeze my eggs. What if I want a baby? It's better to have children before hitting 35, right? Is that supposed to mean something? Uh, no, no. Just, um, uh, what's your opinion as a doctor? 18, 35. I think you should count your blessings and stay childless. Do you want to go through the nine months of nausea, labour pains, followed by diaperage and teenage angst? Having a baby is how? Lanzo, no. no. Eh? There they are. Where did you go to? She's sleeping. I went for a walk and she finally stopped crying. I was so afraid that if I stopped walking, she'd start crying again. Uncle Chan, why did you disappear to when I needed you most? I had to go and do the big one. Do they never go already? A lot, you know? Okay, TMI. You relax, huh? Well, I think you need a break. You leave Juliana with me for a while. Hmm? Wow. Friendly neighborhood April strike again. Papa, thank you. I always need someone's help. Nothing wrong with that. Hey Dan. Nelly, hey. I'm here for Christine Stonings. Oh. You're here instead of Mandy? Oh, she is in a meeting. So you mean you've been making Mandy run your errands for you? Huh? I was busy and she offered. Hmm. 
So you've been forcing your responsibilities as a husband onto my granddaughter, huh? Ah, don't make it sound so thorough. What? He clearly cannot manage. Oh. Christine is struggling now and everyone's chipping in, not just Mandy. <laughs> I better go during dinner check how she is. You're welcome anytime, Dad. Alex, Alex. I need your help with something. Khadija, mm -hmm. I owe you an apology for the other day when I accused you of talking Damon into leaving. It's okay. I get it. You were under a lot of stress. But that's no excuse. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> so, Mandy's been struggling with the decision. Has she? Yeah, choosing between staying home or moving out into uni hall for the SSU Law Society. Who says she has to move out? Well, the society prefers members to stay at their hall so that they can fully participate in activities. Oh, I'm so hungry. How is it that you always know more about my children than I do? Well, I just know because... Yeah, yeah same age. Wow. What else do you know? What else are you keeping from me? Nothing. Wow, 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 wow. Keep out of my family business. I... I... Wow, I'm just... G-E-R-A-L-D. Okay, got it. Thanks. Heading home? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Busy, busy, huh? It's my ma. She keeps telling me to give the guy she matchmade me with a chance. She just won't take no for an answer. I'd rather freeze my eggs and raise a child alone than deal with marriage. Actually, why are you so against marriage? Because so many men are unreliable and immature. Or they say annoying things. That's quite a sweeping statement. You know what I mean. There's no such thing as a perfect man. I know there's no such thing as the perfect man. But I just can't seem to find Mr. Right for me. You know, some people are too caught up with Mr. Good Looking. Your last two boyfriends were good looking, right? And things didn't work out. Try looking for Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Reliable. Mr. Makes Me Laugh. Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Reliable. Isn't there already someone in your life? Someone called uh, Benny? When were you planning to tell me that joining SSU Law Society means that you have to move out? I wasn't trying to hide it from you. I only just found out last night. You had the whole day to tell me. But I didn't get the chance to. Yet Khadija knows. First Damien. And now you. Just when I thought this family is finally coming together, you all decide to leave. Fine. I'll reject the Law Society and just stay home like you want me to, okay? Good. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. <sighs> yes. Go go and join us for dinner. So make sure you're home, okay? Hmm. I was just trying to be a good friend to Mandy. Yeah, and it's for Mandy to tell her mum what's going on, not you. And it's not like I persuaded Mandy to make any decision. You're just a sounding board. Exactly. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Ignore my friend? I get it that Dr. Tay has a lot going on, but that's true for all of us. Good. Yep. You're 100% right. <sighs> Sorry about going on about myself. Uh, how was your day with Juliana? Other problems? Uh, great. <laughs> she slept the whole time. <laughs> Aww, she's such a sweetie when she's asleep, though. Very true. I wish I could have spent more time with her today. What a lousy day. To be chewed out for no reason at all. Kong Kong! Hey! Hi Kong Kong! Hey, hello. Violet, be a good girl, I hope. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I bought dinner. Oh. So, no need to cook tonight. And this joke is for your mother. She needs to eat better. Thanks, Kong Kong. Hmm. Yeah, how's your mother doing? Cranky. Normal pregnancy stuff. Can't wait for it to be over. Me too. I can't wait to become Violet DJ. <laughs> Violet's so excited, she ordered a bunch of toys for the baby using Arasi's card without us knowing. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, how much did she spend? A few hundred, but I managed to sort it out, so no harm done. Took me the entire morning though. <laughs> hey, I thought today you had your first SSU Law Society meeting. Oh, uh. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm quitting anyway. Why? Because they want me to move to uni hall, but mom needs me at home. That's ridiculous, right? You shouldn't have to give things up just because your mother is pregnant. It's unacceptable. And what's Alex doing? Hi. 
Can I have a copy of Kosunta Park, please? Dr. T. Hey, hi, Alvik. Why did you have to shout at Katija earlier? Excuse me? It wasn't her fault that Mandy went to her for help. That's my family business. Stay out of it. You can tell Katija to do the same. Well, maybe if you treated people better, your daughter would want to talk to you instead of someone else. Okay. What are you doing? Telling Dr. Tay what she needs to hear. Katija, if you have something to say to me, you jolly well do it to my face instead of hiding behind a boyfriend. I'm sorry. This won't happen again. Is my coffee ready? Thanks. Sophia, how can you just let her go? Vic, I was just letting off steam to you. I didn't want you to confront her. I just don't want people treating you like that. Look, I get it. I can take care of myself, okay? I need you to stop doing things like that. It's very hard for me to confide in you if you're just going to go off the handle like that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Uncle, Ch Uncle Chandra, uh, looking to order something? Uh, no, we just came by to say hello, see how you're doing. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, hello, uh, uh, are you here all alone? Uh, maybe you have someone to help. Uh, oh, uh, are you volunteering? Uh, oh, he means uh, a partner. <laughs> oh, I had one. I bought him out. Hey, no, no, not a business partner. Life partner. Huh? Mr. Right, Mr. Stable, Mr. Reliable. Uh, stable, reliable guys. Stop! Uh, My mom spoke to you guys, right? You and Uncle Alex. I'm not interested in Benny, okay? Leave me alone. Get out, both of you. Go. I already told you, gay okay, no use. Oi, where's my free dinner? Hey! <laughs> Why is my granddaughter having to suffer for your incompetence? Huh? Do you know how important the SSU Law Society is for her future? I did not ask Manny to quit. What's going on? She wouldn't have to quit if you did a better job taking care of the house. She told me herself how she feels pressured to make up for Damon's absence. And how she feels too guilty to move into Union Hall. And how she has to give up the SSU Law Society because of it. I completely agree. Yeah, and yet your selfish actions say otherwise. You better stop being so useless uh, and let the poor girl put herself first for once. You could have just told me how you really felt. I didn't want to add on to your stress. You are already doing so by complaining to other people behind my back. I didn't complain behind your back. Your kukung was accusing Alex of being selfish. You could have just told me you couldn't handle what I was asking you to do. What's the point of telling you? If I don't do it, who will? It's just... No matter how many chores I take on or how busy I kept Violet, it feels like I'm never doing enough. Are you saying that I'm demanding too much from you? Fine. I won't ask for your help. That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? You know what? What's the point of helping out if this is the kind of thanks I get? All right then. Thanks for helping your mum out. Are you happy now? No. You're missing the point. And I changed my mind. I'm moving out to Uni Hall just so I don't have to deal with your crap. Are you too free this Saturday? Maybe. Kenapa? No reason, just asking. But if you happen to be free... You want to hold bachelor parties for Hafi and me? Eh? eh? Who told you? Was it Pochu? It was Baba. We saw the message in the group chat before you did today. Hey, I told you to be careful. Well, since they already know, they can chime in on the planning. So the parties can be an even bigger success. What kind of bachelorette plans her own party? <laughs> Don't shoot, it's just me. I've already made up my mind. I'm moving out no matter what you say. I'm not here to convince you to stay. Then what do you want? I want to tell you that we, meaning both Christian and I, are happy for you. You have our support in joining the SSU Law Society. I know that's not true. 
Your mom is really proud of you. Look, she hasn't got the best control of her emotions right now. You know how much she misses Damien, and she's gonna miss you too. That makes one of us. Okay, I'm not trying to make up excuses for your mom, but the stress, the hormones, the guilt, it's a lot. I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have blown up earlier. And I know she regrets blowing up at you too. Maybe it really is best if I move out. Mom and I both need the space. I was afraid it may be too uh, strenuous for you. It's a great way to start the day. Right? You know, once you push yourself to the limit, you know, you start breaking through those barrier after barrier. And I got such a rush from it. <laughs> My head's still spinning. <laughs> <laughs> spinning. Uh, I see what you did there. Uh, it's better than caffeine, actually. I might have to skip my double shot latte after this. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, um, I'll see you at spin class tomorrow? Absolutely. I'm glad you had a good time.